What's good, YouTube? Happy Pony Eight Two here, back again, once again. And today, people, today we are finally—it is long overdue, I know—but we are finally beginning our next Let's Play. This is episode one of our Pokemon Blaze Black. Egg lock. Yes, this is our third egg lock. These this is gonna feature all different eggs and Pokemon that you guys sent in. If you're not sure the rules for an egg lock, everything will be of course listed in the description. All that good lovey dovey happy bullshit. Anyways, I don't even know where to, I don't even know where to begin with this. I don't even know where to start. It's just like like what what am I supposed to do? I feel like I'm gonna forget 900,000 things real quick right now. But anyways, um, the download link to play along is included in the description. So if you'd like to play along with me, uh, just go ahead and check the description. It should be there. I tried to make it as simple as I could. I think Callum did this a while back. Um, basically what I did was I took my entire like ROM folder where the entire game's at that I'm playing. I compressed it and gave it to you in a WinRAR file. So it means that the fast egg hatch codes already in there. There, the rare candy codes already in there all the eggs are already in there all you have to do is extract it and fucking launch the the emulator and just play if you can't do that you need to take your computer back because you don't belong on the internet okay <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to make it any more simpler than that but as you can see we are here in the pokemon center i think of strad and city or some shit i go outside but I, I tried to do this recording before, and when I go outside, the fucking storyline starts, and that just fucks everything up. But, um, yeah, we're, we're here because I needed to test to make sure the eggs were there, and I need a PC for that. So, luckily for us, we were able to skip all the preliminary bullshit that happens in the beginning of a Pokemon game, because Professor Sycamore, or whatever, that's not Sycamore, what's her name? Juniper. Professor Juniper just wants to run her fucking trap and never shut the hell up. But anyways, uh, we are here. If you guys don't know what an Egglock is, it's all the regular Nuzlocke rules apply. Uh, except when you catch a Pokemon in each new route, you take it to the PC and swap it out for an egg you guys donated. Um, we got easily, easily a clean almost 1,500 to like 1,800 eggs submitted. And of course the PC doesn't hold all that, so obviously some people that submitted eggs, your eggs did not make it in. I do apologize for that. I, I, it is appreciated that you sent eggs in, but that should have just been like a given. I'm pretty sure I said that in the semi eggs video. Like everyone's eggs were not going to be included. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. But anyways, um, enough for the introduction. I know you guys love my long drawn out introductions. I did choose Oshawott as our starter because he's the best fucking fifth gen starter there is. But we have to swap him out. We have to get a different starter and we have to get a different Pokemon to play with us instead. So let's go ahead and look at these beautiful eggs. Look at all the 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 eggs. Look at them. Look at them. Ah! Oh, just look at them. We've got at least 20 boxes. I, I went up to 21. I don't know why I didn't finish filling this box. What the hell's wrong with me? But I went all the way up here to 21, and I left these last couple open because if you remember from the Sacred Gold Egg Lock, we had some space issues when I tried to fill the boxes up too much. So I went ahead and left these three boxes empty. We need to go ahead and make a death box. I think I'm going to go ahead and just label this one death. Uh, where's the name at? Since it's the last one, and then oh shit, delete, 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 delete. I'm gonna go ahead and label this one death because uh, it's the last one next to the rest of the eggs, and we can just use the last two for hatched eggs and whatnot. So that's our death box. So any Pokemon that die are gonna go in that box and chill there, and these two are just empty free boxes. But we need to get an egg, we need to get an egg and swap it out for our Oshawott. So who is our first hatch gonna be? I don't even know what box to pull it from. <laughs> oh lord, what do we do? What do we do? You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this one because it's nice and clean. Look at it. It's just a nice steel clean box. I don't, I don't even know. Okay, I don't even know what to say. All right. So what, what, the way I do my egg lock and the way I draw my eggs is I do it like this. Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. And the reason I do this is because some of you guys have painfully. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. To each his own. I know some of you guys, your nicknames, Jeff, or your Pokemon are special to you and whatnot, but in my opinion, they are painfully obvious and not the world's most creative nicknames out there. I mean, I'm sorry, I know I'm terrible at nicknames too, but like like in the Platinum Egglock, we hatched one called Metatank. Like, what the hell is Metatank supposed to be but a Metagross? And it was a Metagross, so. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and just completely randomize this. Big money, no whammies, big money, no whammies. Who is our first Pokemon gonna be? Let's go with you! Oh, what the hell? I'm not a Pokemon that can fight. I can't even... Okay, so I went and chose... Fuck, now we're gonna see the nicknames. Damn it. I went and chose this one. It's got Pokerus and it's named Scar. 
I wonder if that's in reference to Scar from our... Well, it can't be because there's no fucking Lit Leos in this game. But alright, let's go ahead. The quick egg hatch code is on, so this thing should hatch immediately. Oh god, what could it be? What is our first egg hatch gonna be? Oh lord, I'm nervous. Please be good, please be good, please be good. Please be good. Oh, it's a Growlithe! Okay! That is good! That is good! That is great! That is excellent! You know why that's fucking good? You know why that's good? Because, correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure, isn't the first gym, uh, don't they, don't they use whatever Pokemon is that you're, that you're starting Pokemon's weak to, so like, since I chose Oshawott, aren't they gonna like, use Snivy and Bulbasaur and the Grass Stars and shit? So that's good, because now I got a fucking fire type that can just wreck house! Ugh! Alright, so Scar- Oh, damn it, I didn't even check to see if he had a held item. God damn it, I'm gonna have to go check that too. <sighs> have to check that too. If he had a Firestone on him, I'm gonna have to, um... Pokegen it back in. That was my bad. I, I did that all the time in the Sacred Gold Egglock. But alright, so we got Scar as our first capture. Another, uh, aspect of the Egglock is when you hatch an egg, it's level 1. As you can see- Oh, he hatches with the items! He hatches with the items! Oh my god! Fourth gen didn't do that! You had to take the item off the egg in the PC before you hatch the egg. Because if you hatch the egg and the item was on it, then you just lost it. It was gone forever. God damn, that was awesome. Okay, so no Poke Gen in that bullshit. But yeah, as you can see, there he's only level 1. And it's not really fair for me to trade a level 7 for a level 1. So what you do is you go here to your handy dandy bag, and uh, we have Rare Candies Poke Gen into the game. Now these Rare Candies are used only for leveling up Pokemon that you trade for eggs. That's it. So I'm not gonna like go and do grinding and just level up all my Pokemon with rare candies. If you guys are super meticulous about that, you can just pay attention to how many I have in my bag between each episode. If I find a rare candy like in, in the Pokemon world, I gotta use it right then and there just to avoid any complications. But we're gonna go ahead and level Scar up right now to level seven because that's the level that the Oshawa is. I need to check his moveset and his nature. He wants to learn Ember. What you got, man? What you got? What you got, man? Bite, Roar, Double Edge, and Crunch. That's what I like. That's what I like. I think I'm going to get rid of... Uh, I was going to say Double Edge, but you have Bite and Crunch, and we don't need both. You don't need Bite and Crunch. We don't get to flinch with Crunch, though, but oh well. We don't need both. I like how we have Poke Rust too. But alright, that's nice! I really like that! Oh my god, whoever sent in Scar, thank you! This is perfect to start the fucking egg lock off with. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. But alright, so we, we did that, we, got, we did that, we did that, we did that. We got our first uh, hatch of the series. But we need to unfortunately drop our Oshawott off. I hate that. I, I hate this. I don't know why they even have the option for withdrawal. God damn it! I don't even know why they have the option for withdrawal and deposit if you just have move. So we're gonna go ahead and drop homeboy off right here, and we have Scar the Growlithe. Oh lord, look at that move set! I love it! 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 So we need to also head back to whatever that route is that leads up to the city from the first town, and uh, get a capture there too. But what I'm going to do, I want to get some potions. Because we are playing Blaze Black, you guys, and this is going to be something that I'm probably going to have to end up saying 400 times. We are playing Blaze Black. This is not regular Pokemon Black. This is a ROM hack made by Adriano. This is the same guy that did... We have five already. This is the same guy that did um, Storm Silver and Sacred Gold. I think he did Fire Red Omega too. Um, basically, it's a harder version of the game. It's a harder version of the game, so like all the gym leaders are going to have a full party of six, I think with the exception of the first one. They're all going to have a full party of six, the levels are going to be increased, the trainers and the gym leaders that you fight aren't going to be dumbasses, they're not going to spam the same stupid ineffective move over and over and over again. They're going to have altered move sets. they're going to they're gonna know what the fuck they're doing basically. It's going to be like you're battling an actual person. On top of that, um, certain things have been changed in the game as well. Like for example, uh, typings. Uh, is, is Growlithe still? Is he still just a uh, pure fire? Yeah, I don't know why they changed that. But uh, for example, like uh, the starting Pokemon, their final evolution, Samurott is water fighting. Embor, I think, is fire ground. And uh, I know Superior is grass dragon. So that was an issue that we had in Sacred Gold because we had Electivire, and Electivire was electric fighting, and Luxray was electric dark, and 
all the people in the comment section were like, Oh my god, Appy, why don't you know this? It's just stop that. Anyways, we spent the first 10 minutes episode one of the goddamn Pokemon Center. <laughs> let's go do something. Oh, 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 sounds like something's going on at the plaza. Well, let's have a little look see. Oh god. It's not even gonna force me to go over there. Woo! I thought they were gonna force me to go over there. Alright, let's go catch a Pokemon. Route 1. Gimme, 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 gimme. So, our encounter for Route 1 is a Zigzagoon. A wild Zigzagoon appeared. Scar. Scar! Oh, I love him when he's got Intimidate too! Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh god, okay. So, I don't wanna- I don't wanna kill this thing. We have 10 Pokeballs. Fuck it, just go for it. Get captured, bitch. Get captured. Stay in the ball! Stay in the ball! Stay in the ball! Stay in the ball! There we go. Alright, so our first encounter on this route has been captured. Zigzagoon level 3. It sucks that he's only level 3, but... Eh. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. He's gonna get swapped out. Hopefully for something decent. Nickname to the caught Zigzagoon. None to get. I'm good. Alright, so before we do the storyline, let's go hatch another egg. <laughs> let's go hatch another fucking egg. Who gives a damn? Who gives a fucking shit? Alright, so let's see here. We need to hatch a Pokemon. That we can swap out for our... God damn! Damn, fuck deposit! Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go ahead and swap a Pokemon out. What box should we go from, though? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Box one, should we pull from box... <sighs> There's just so many options. There's so many options. I think... Let, you know what? Let's... Fuck it. Let's just go with this one. Let's go with this one and let's swap out a level 3 Zigzagoon for Big Money, no whammies, Big Money, no whammies, Big Money, you. What is it gonna be? It's nifty. Oh god, I already know what that is. I already know what that is, god damn it. Okay, let's go ahead and see what the fuck nifty's gonna be. My lord. Hold your breath, people, hold your breath. <laughs> Like I figured, like I fucking figured it was gonna be a fucking Scraggy. <sighs> Alright, so let's go ahead and nickname him Nifty. Uh, I hope, I hope I wasn't quiet too long there and fucking Nintendo doesn't claim this video. That would fucking suck. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and nickname him Nifty. Uh, it would be nice to use a Scraggy. I think they changed his evolution level. I think they lowered it, because normally I think he evolves level 39. But I think they lowered it, so uh, I'm not sure I have to check it off the top of my head. But alright, we need to get him leveled up to level 3. And we need to actually do something in this episode! <laughs> fucking 15 minutes in and we haven't even done anything yet. We hatched two fucking Pokemon. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. Alright, so what what needs my attention over here? I hope we're we're not too low leveled with some of our Pokemon. <gasps> it's Charon! Oh lord, I know some of you guys love Charon's voice. I know other of you can't stand it, but it's Charon! What do you want me to do? It's Charon! <laughs> Debbie, oh, come here a sec. Oh, oh Lord, it's Getsis. My name is Getsis. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Oh, what's that? Look at me in my pajama onesie. Footsie. It's Mr. Footsie. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have to come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? <sighs> Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? Oh, I don't know. Insolent fools! Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that can contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility towards these wonderful beings called Pokemon? Oh, what could it be? Niggas in the background. Oh no, who are you? That's right! We must liberate the Pokemon! Then and only then will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon, and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Team Plasma, out! <laughs>
<laughs> Look at him in his little onesie go. I want a fucking onesie like that. I want to be able to walk around in a fucking pajama onesie and just demand respect from everybody. Like, what the fuck you looking at? My footy pajamas. Put, put my footy up your ass, nigga. Oh, what about, about that speech? What do you think we should do? Uh, liberate Pokemon? It's not even possible, bruh. And they all scatter. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're a Pokemon. Just now, it was saying... <laughs> Slow down! You talk too fast! Nigga, he wasn't even talking that fast. <laughs> and what's this about Pokemon? <laughs> talking! That's an odd thing to say! Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. <laughs> My name is Sharon, and this is Nappy! <laughs> We were asked to complete the Pergadex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. You will never be champion, son. The Pokedex, eh? So, you're going to confine many, many Pokemon in Pokeballs for that, then. I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. A Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Nappy, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, what is? It? What are his levels? I hope he's not... I hope, I hope we're adequately leveled and he's not like super... Okay, Ninkata, Ninkata, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. He's levels... Oh, we're good! We are good! I wish I wish I would've put uh, Nifty up front so I could like switch train and get him some levels in this first episode. Alright, fuck it, Ember, Ember, Ember. But uh, speaking of levels, you guys, um, if you guys caught the Platinum Egg like we did, we were somewhat under level when we fought Cynthia. SPOILER ALERT! And we lost. Then when we did the um, Sacred Gold at Glock, we were underleveled against Blaine, and his entire Sun team just destroyed us, and we lost. And then when we did Emerald, uh, I was adequately leveled, but I was still somewhat underleveled, and we lost. So, with that in mind, and with us, with the idea that we want to actually win this egg lock, and I, I know for a fact I've seen people get wrecked by certain gym leaders in this egg lock. I mean, in this in this uh, game, uh, I think the rule that I'm going to try and go by is I can't train higher than five levels above the gym leader or boss fight or whatever it's going to be in that episode. So let's say, for example, I think Silence first gym, the first gym with them in it, I think they're level 12. So I think the highest that I'm going to be allowed to have any Pokemon in my party is level 17. And that's just for... I mean, that seems kind of unrealistic in the first gym. But, like, as you get higher into it and, you know, crits become a thing and, you know, shit like that starts to happen. You'll see. You'll see the bullshit that goes down. If you haven't played a Drown on Hack before, if you haven't played Blaze Black or Volt White, then you don't even know the bullshit that can happen. You don't even know the bullshit that can happen. But we're just going to go with it. Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. And we are just defecating all over and in his Pokemon. There we go. Speaking of crits. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Level 8. I love Scar. I love Scar. I got to look up his uh, move set. And uh, see when when we're gonna be good to evolve him, because I would I can't wait to have an Arcanine. I know Patters is fucking clapping his feet right now. He's so happy. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. Oh, okay, 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 buddy. <laughs> oh, strange guy. But I'm not gonna worry about it. Like whatever. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, Nappy, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town. Triton City. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. As he leaves. Alright, so we're going to go uh, get healed up real quick. We didn't even have to use any of the potions that we bought, so that's good. That's good, that's good. I'm, I'm like playing so super duper safe because I'm telling you, you guys, I'm telling you, you guys, I have seen people get absolutely wrecked in Blaze Black and Bolt White. Like, you thought Sacred Gold and Storm Silver was hard, they just upped it. They, they made it even harder in this fucking ROM hack, but it's, it's whatever, it's 5th gen. You know it is what it is, man. But I think I'm going to like explore this area off screen in the next in the before the next episode. I think there might be like an ultra ball or some shit around here somewhere. I don't know. It's nothing that's super duper important. But before I go ahead and wrap up this first episode, I want to go ahead and uh, get my next capture. <laughs> get my next capture on over here, just cause let's hatch as many eggs as we can in the first episode. 
And plus, I think we need three Pokemon for... Oh, God, you want to battle? Oh, Lord, what is this? God, can I turn that off? Put it on mute? Put it on vibrate? I don't want to talk to nobody. <laughs> Nappy! It's your mom! How are things? You, are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I need to talk to you, so I call, but I'm going to hang up the x transceiver now. What was the point? Oh, she's right. <laughs> what was the point? I'm going to call you, but I need to hang up right now, so bye. <sighs> Nappy. I finally caught up with you, and look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you were probably headed for Shriaton City by now. I have another present for you, Nappy. Try these on. Mmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That'll make everything easier and quicker to get around. When you're wearing the running shoes, you can go anywhere in a flash. Let me read you the instructions. Hold the B button. Well, we don't need all that. We don't need all that at all. Just move on. Move on, move on, move on. I bought these a long time ago and stashed them away somewhere. I found them when I was cleaning up. Guess it's good to get away! God, she gave me a bike right off the bat? Like, that's what they do in this round, Mac? And then she wants to just have conversations about running shoes and shit. Like, get out of here. Alright, so let's get our capture for this route and go and wrap this up. A cricket tot. Please be like level. Okay, level 6. I can work with that. I can work with level 6. Alright, I'm not gonna mess with it, not gonna mess with it, not gonna mess with it at all. Give me the Pokeball, give me the Pokeball, give me the Pokeball. Stay in it, stay in it, Cricket type. Don't do this to me. I'm not attacking you. I'm not attacking you, because that's how people die. That's how Pokemon dies when you attack somebody with Bide. People think Cricket type ain't shit, but he uses Bide and just ends up pooping all over you. Alright, so level 6, we can swap him out and call it good. His legs are short. Yeah, we get it. We give it. No nickname for you. You're just trade fodder, man. You're just trade fodder. Nothing more, nothing less. But alright, let's go ahead and head back. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to have a grinding montage for the next episode. I may, because we may be taking on the first gym leader in the next episode. I don't know. I call it Striaton City. That's where the first gym is at. This is a Cumula town. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. So let's go ahead and uh, get a Pokemon. Let's get a Pokemon and swap him out. You know what? Let's pull from box one this time. Just because it feels kind of odd pulling from like the middle of the, of the box. The middle of the box. The middle of the uh, PC. Let's go ahead and uh, swap somebody out. Big money. No whammies. Big money. No whammies. Big money. Let's go with Corner Boy over here. Level 6. This name is Second Chance. It's holding a Dusk Stone. Okay. 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 <sighs> Level 6. And its nickname is Second Chance. I wonder what it could be. It, it makes me think, like, is this a Pokemon that I've used before and it died? And, like, we're giving it a second chance now? Oh, it's a Murkrow. Okay. Not even bad. Not even bad. Not even bad. <laughs> oh, yes. Give me, okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. Because we had a... Uh, I don't remember what his name was, but we had a, a Honchkrow in Platinum. I don't know if this is a reference to that or not, but we had a Honchkrow in Platinum, and we did not get to use it for very long. So it'd be nice to get to use this again. And this is this is good. This is good. I need to check the moves for Scraggy. If that Scraggy came from who I think it came from, then I already know it's Rock and Ice Punch. But uh, let's let's double check here real quick. Let's get this uh, second chance leveled up to level six. Gimme 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 gimme. Pursuit. What moves do you already have? What moves do you already have? Brave Bird Roots! Oh my lord! <laughs> oh my lord! Use the psychic power of suggestion, then the user transfers the status problems to the target. Oh, I, I know what that is. What's his name? The uh Sigalif or some some shit uses that. Uh I don't know if I I don't know if I'll fuck with that too much. I don't know if I you know, I'm gonna get rid of Roost. I'll keep Psycho Shift for now because that might come in handy, but I'm gonna get rid of Roost because when it comes to moves like that. Really, it's just more effective for me to use potions and shit during the turn than to waste it on Roost. Like, maybe not this early in the game, but like later on, like when I did Emerald, people were asking me why did I get rid of Recover? Because it's like Recover only restores like what half of your HP? I could just whip a Hyper Potion out and just get all my HP back. So it's just a better use of the turn. So, thinking long run with that one. Thinking long run with that one. You know, long run with that one. Alright, so level six, we're good to go. And uh, before we wrap this up, let's go ahead and just check out our party where we're sitting at. What are we sitting at right now? And we got Poke Rust too! Ember Roar, Double Edge, and Crunch with the Firestone on deck ready to go. 
Moxie with the dragon dance, ice punch, drain punch, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then of course we got second chance with the brave bird. This is good, this is good because I'm pretty sure in Blaze Black the first gym is a rotation battle. So you have to have three Pokemon to participate. So this is good because we have three Pokemon and all three of them have moves that will fuck up grass types. If we have to fight grass types, we're good to go because the brave bird will wreck it, the ice punch will wreck it, and the ember will wreck it. So... I'm very happy. I'm very pleased with the first episode. I'm very pleased with our progress so far. I'm going to go ahead and save the game here because we've done a lot. I'm, I'm happy. That's all I can say is I'm happy with, with where we're at right now. Besides that, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed the first episode so far. If you did, make sure you smash that like button down below because it is appreciated. Uh, we broke a thousand likes on every episode of Emerald and it would be fucking tits if we could do that again with uh, Blaze Black because this, I feel like Blaze Black is like a bigger thing. Like it's a bigger project. Like, let's do this. Let's. I'm, I'm fucking hyped. Anyways, so yeah, smash that like button for me if you enjoyed the first episode. Play along with me if you like as well. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Thank you for checking out the video. You know me, YouTube, Nap192. I'm out.